Hello, everybody, and welcome to the BMO Bradley Center here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, as the Marquette Golden Eagles are set on to take the Army Black Knights, and Army wins the, the coin toss there, and they'll like to kick. So Jake Haywood will come out for his second start of the season, Army on for the opening kickoff, and that's back to Dickenzie Durant. And he'll just need that one as Marquette coming off a tough loss there against Temple in week five, where we just really couldn't establish. Our offense moved well down the field fairly efficiently, but we just couldn't score on that side of the field. As now you see Jake Haywood back out there with Javon Ashley in the backfield. Ashley will get the opening give. He works his way ahead. A solid five-yard rush out of the gate for Ashley. Army, of course, one of the most disciplined teams here in college football. And they enter this game 4-0. So besides that Indiana game, perhaps the toughest task of the season so far for Marquette. Hey, we'll drop back here on second and five. He has a man streaking towards the side. That's Grant Cooper working his way up. Grant Cooper with some nice explosion on a 16-yard catch. Now Marquette at their own 46-yard line here on this first and 10. Another give to Ashley. He works his way outside for just a yard. Haywood back out there under center in an empty formation. He'll take the snap. Roll to his right. Finds a man there. It's Lamont Collier for a nice catch. 22 yard catch there for Collier in a nice window. Haywood looking pretty sharp on these first two passes. Now Ashley back out there. He'll get another carry. And he goes ahead for four yards. Now second and six for Marquette. Haywood back to pass. And he's taken down there and loses possession of the ball. And he fumbles and Army recovers. A nice pass rush move there. And he was just ripped down and loses possession. As his eyes were downfield, he didn't even see the pressure coming. So a nice, productive, efficient Marquette opening drive is stalled there on a fumble. And now we'll get our first look at this triple option attack for the Black Knights. As Santiago, the backup quarterback in here. And he gets 12 yards up the middle on their first offensive play. Army's starting quarterback hurt for this one. So Santiago will have to take on starting duties here. He'll keep again. And Santiago stopped there in a crowd by Travell Terry. Our tackling has by far been the weakness of this defense so far this season. And I hope that's not exploited here in this one. Santiago keeps again, and he stopped there in the hole. Good play there by Ahmad Plummer. Now third and eight for Army as they'll attempt their first pass here. And that's complete to Lawrence, who's brought down by Terry. And it looked like there might have been a face mask there, but no call. Kick is off. That's going to go out of bounds here. It looks like just before Marquette's 20-yard line. Or just at Marquette's 20-yard line. Is now they'll take over for another drive here. Jake Haywood looking to rewrite that fumble moments earlier. Not to get to Tyson Bolt. His first action here is he's taken down after three yards. Bolt getting mixed in early on in games, and he's been uh, he's been pretty good. Usually a, pr a productive carry or two from him each game. Now second and seven for the Golden Eagles. Haywood back to pass. There's Shane Lytle, his first target. He makes a nice grab at the sideline for 14 yards. Lytle has certainly been our most consistent weapon through the air so far, as we're uh, already in game five, and now they're going to Look this one over. I think he had a foot in, but let's take another look. I'm pretty sure he had that that right foot down. And the play is reversed. I guess he didn't have that foot down. Wow. So a nice 14-yard strike to Lytle is waved back, and now Marquette faces a third and seven here. Hey, what another drop back. He has Collier. 
just he can't get back to the first down. He was wide open there on the curl, but good closing defense by Army getting downhill before he could get the first down. So that brings on Matt Bars for his first punt of the day. This kick is off. It's going to reach Army's 29-yard line, fielded by Laird, and he works his way out of bounds. So Army back out there following a three and out on their opening drive. Santiago looking to be a little more productive here. And he'll keep it again. Pitch back to Turrentine. He's, he pulls over Tyler Black and works his way ahead, stumbling for six yards. A second and four here for Army. Santiago keeps. And he's met there by Ahmad Plummer. Good discipline there in the gap. And now another third down here for the Black Knights. They get set. Turrentine in motion. Santiago keeps. He gives to Turrentine, who hurdles for some reason. Questionable tactic there, and he's brought down in the backfield by Juice Campbell. Marquette's run defense up to the tax so far in this game, as you see again, Turrentine. He was trying to hurdle his way ahead. Now Army sent a punt again here. Campbell back to return, and he's going to have some space to work with here. Juice Campbell. He works his way ahead for a 13-yard return as Marquette is just about midfield. Now 2.04 here for Marquette. And they stalled out on their last drive. That 14-yard catch to Lytle called back, and that kind of hurt. Now Haywood in play action. And he's going to have no time at all to play action as Army brought pressure. That's Jeffrey Bacon with a sack. And he found a, a nice lane there, as did two other Army defenders. And no blocking, upholding there for Marquette. So now behind the sticks for Marquette, and that's not how you wanted to start this drive, trying to get some points on the board. Haywood back to pass on the second and 18. Back to Shane Lytle there, and Shane Lytle with a nice grab at the 50-yard line. 10-yard catch for Shane Lytle, his first of the day, working against a couple Army defenders there. And you see at the bottom, Louisville, number three Louisville beating Temple. 24-14. Temple, of course, they just beat us last week, 17-14. And Haywood tries to get a pass off, and he's hit, and that's going to bring up a fourth down for Marquette. Now Matt bars for another punt with just over a minute left in this first quarter. Let's see if he can pin Army back deep. And that's not going to get too far, but it will pin them back at about the 17-yard line. Now Army takes over again for another drive here in this first quarter with just over a minute to work with. Turn time in motion. Santiago keeps. He has a nice hole. He'll break a tackle and work his way ahead for 15 yards. Now Army gets set on this first and 10. A quick give there to Naples. He'll break a tackle, but then be swallowed up there on a counterattack from Marshall. As Naples, a wide receiver, picks up two yards there. A fake there. Santiago's going to pass. He has Naples leaking out, and he'll be stopped there, not after picking up a first down. Santiago starts the day two for two for 13 yards as Army gets set. And a give there to Dixon, his first touch of the day. Larry Dixon for five yards. Santiago back under center now, second and five. Naples in motion, they'll fake. Santiago keeps, goes the other way. And he'll have some yardage there. As a nice 19-yard gain as he broke into space. Tackled there by Tyler Black. Now Army moving down the field. Now 13 seconds left here in this first quarter. Santiago keeps off the fake. He'll stiff arm Randall Gunn ahead. And picks up another 14 yards. Two good plays here from Santiago. As now he's at 64 rushing yards. As this first quarter winds down. So the first quarter will come to an end here. No score. A good opening drive there from Marquette. But they will succumb to a fumble there, as you'll see. And then Army has not really been able to put together anything on offense. Although this drive has been well, doing, going well for him. And they're knocking on the door of a score here. Now Army starts this second quarter at Marquette's 22 with a fresh set of downs. Naples in motion. And Dixon gets to give up the middle. And he finds a nice lean. Marquette bit on that fake. And that opened Dixon up. A nice hole as he works inside the 10. 
Santiago drops back here for a red zone attempt. He's going to scramble, but taken down there by Ahmad Plummer, who gets the sack. Plummer, two tackles for loss in a sack already in this first half. Naomi with it at the 10-yard line. Looking to get the first points here in this one. Santiago will keep. He'll get back to Naples. And Dickenzie Durant can't make the tackle. And Raymond Naples will go ahead for the 10-yard score. Nice pitch there from Santiago. And Dickenzie Durant, most times one-on-one, -on -one isn't going to come away with that tackle. And Naples gets Army on the board here first. Kickoff here from Army. That's going to be fielded by Durant at the four-yard line. He'll work his way up the sideline. He has some space. And he'll push his way ahead as he's forced out there at about the 29-yard line. So let's see if Jake Haywood here can engineer a scoring drive to counter here against the Black Knights. Haywood back out there under center as Marquette goes empty to start this drive. Head will drop back. Give there to Jordan Pinson for a nice seven yard pickup. Haywood now five for seven in the game as he is under center for the second down as they'll audible now to a run. Give to Theo Briggs and he stopped there for a two yard loss. Justin Trimble there, tackle for loss for Army. And now Marquette, a quick third down as they surely want to convert here 0 for 2 on their first two third downs of the game. Haywood empty again back out there. And there'll be a pass, he'll roll to his right. And he has nothing downfield and he gets hit as he tries to get a throw off and that brings up another fourth down here for the Golden Eagles. It looked good out of the gate here for this offense but since then, since that fumble, we haven't been able to put, really put anything together. Matt Bars to punt. Laid on the return. He breaks, misses, forces a missed tackle as Davin Rice brings him down. Army now looks to add on to their lead, taking over from the 25. Santiago gives to Dixon up the middle. A nice tackle there by Randall Gunn. Santiago back under center as Army gets set. He'll keep. He has a nice hole. And he breaks an Ahmad Plummer tackle. But luckily, uh, Tyler Black started to clean it up. A 16-yard pickup there from Santiago. And this Army offensive line having their way here with Marquette. Dixon up the middle. He's stopped there by Clarence Thurman after a four-yard gain. Now second and six as Santiago drops back. He has him in there. Naples breaks a tackle. Ahmad Plummer forces him out of bounds. That's going to be a negative one yard result as Mar Marquette forces a third down here. They need to stop here on third and seven. Made in motion. Santiago drops back. He has him at the sideline. That's Naples. But that's going to be short as he couldn't keep his balance. And he falls out of bounds there at the 50 yard line. And Campbell's going to let that one bounce barely into the end zone for a touchback. That was almost a perfect kick there by the Army punter. So Jake Haywood and this Marquette offense take the field again, and they have not been able to put anything together besides their opening drive. Now let's start here with a gift to Tyson Bolt. Bolt works his way ahead for six yards. Good cuts and change of dire direction to find the open spaces working his way ahead. Now second and four here as Marquette has opened the game with eight passes and eight runs. Some ba balanced play calling here from Lance Leipold. Thomas in motion. Haywood with the snap. He's going to throw. Hits his man Thomas there for the first down on a five-yard catch. Haywood now six for nine, 66 yards as they take over with a fresh set of downs here. They're going to give it to Javon Ashley, who's swallowed there in the backfield by a blitzing linebacker. Jeffrey Bacon, another big play from the Army linebacker. Now behind the sticks yet again here for Marquette. Not even at their own 30-yard line. Second and 13 as we're just over three minutes here left in the half. Haywood back to pass. He hit Shane Lytle working over the middle for a 13-yard pickup and a first down. Now under three minutes left here. 
First and ten for Marquette as they'll run it again with Ashley. And he's up ahead for three yards. So the run really not providing much here for Marquette. As now Haywood empty there on second and seven. He drops back to pass. And he just barely gets that one off as he's hit. Another quick pressure there from Army. Now third and seven here with 2.22 left in the half. Marquette at their own 45. Looking across midfield and gets the points here before the end of the half. Haywood with a drop back. He hits his man Javon Ashley, but he can't take it ahead for the first down. He went too far back to the ball, and the Army linebacker there reacted. Bars gets the kickoff. And not a bad punt there for Matt Bars. Directed it well out of bounds and got the most out of it power-wise. Now Army back on with it as they lead 7-0. Just a minute and a half in this first half, which I feel like is kind of breezed by, especially compared to past games. Santiago, nothing open. He'll scramble. And he'll work his way ahead for a first down and another 12 yards. He's racking up the rushing yards here. Now knocking on the door of 100, just 9 short. Santiago back for another pass. And he's sacked there, taken down. I'm not sure who that was who got home, but he buried him. That might have been Ladarius Gresham there. And yeah, he goes in untouched against that left tackle. Now second and 14 for the Black Knights as they call a timeout. Santiago back for another drop back. He gets layered over the middle. And later works his way ahead for seven. Now third and seven here for Army. And they will hurry up. Santiago, quick pass. Santiago right off the snap just ripped it out of bounds. So maybe he saw some quick pressure that we didn't. And that's what you want if you're Marquette. You force a punt here with a chance to get some points before the end of the half and three timeouts. And Campbell looks like he will have some space. He breaks the tackle. And stiff arms are made, but then he's hit hard. Good running there from Juice Campbell to pick up eight. Marquette now takes over at their 30-yard line with a second under a minute here with 59 seconds left in this first half as Haywood will drop back. Has a man up the sideline there. That's Lamont Collier. It's 24-yard catch for Lamont Collier working his way into enemy territory. He's now over 50, 50 yards receiving in this game. And yeah, uh, it looked like Army only had one man over there in that zone, and we had two men streaking up field. Now Marquette takes over from Army's 46-yard line, still with all their timeouts. Haywood will drop back. Easy pitch and catch there for Grant Cooper, and Grant Cooper had some room to run. 12 yards as Marquette takes their first timeout here. It seems this team works better when they have to go with urgency. Now 40 seconds left here, Marquette at Army's 34-yard line. 40 seconds here in the half. Haywood with a drop back. Army brings pressure. He has Javon Ashley there with space. And Ashley works his way ahead for 15. Army being very aggressive here. And Marquette taking advantage as they'll stay in the hurry up. Now Haywood back there with Clay, Briggs, and Ashley. And looks like they'll try and catch Army off guard here with a run to Ashley. And he'll be brought down after one yard. And Marquette will take another timeout. Now it's second and nine inside the red zone here for the Golden Eagles. Haywood drops back. Army brings pressure again. And he'll hit Grant Cooper there on a post. 12 yards. And Marquette stays in the hurry up here. 22 seconds left. The snap there to Haywood. He hits Mont Collier working over the middle. And Marquette takes their last time out there with 11 seconds. So it looks like they'll just try a couple quick passes. Of course you can't take a sack here. And they go here in the shotgun. And both teams here are identical at 151 passing yards. Marquette looks to make it identical on the scoreboard. And Haywood takes a sack, and I think that's going to end the quarter. 
And that'll do it. Poor game management here for Marquette. Wow. He tried to get rid of that one, but it was too late. And Marquette is not going to get any points here. Army takes a 7-0 lead into the half. As the Golden Eagles squander a tremendous opportunity there. So now we'll pick it back up here in the second half. And that stings for Marquette. Miss out on a chance for points. And just poor management there. Working those timeouts. And now Carnegie will take it up for Army. He works his way ahead to about the 30-yard line. There's really nothing you can say about how Lance Leipold and Marquette handled that situation at the, end of this, at the end of the first half. As now Army back out there. Santiago will keep. And Taylor Bla Tyler Black with a nice play to mitigate what could have been a nice gain there for Santiago. So now a second and five here for Army. Naples in motion. Santiago will keep off the fake. Loose ball. And Marquette does not come up with it. Santiago on the pitch. Missed his man. And Marquette had a couple chances there to pick it up. And that surely would have made up for their squandered at the end of the first half. But Army retains possession with now a third and 16. What a shame that was. Marquette couldn't take advantage of that opportunity. Which would have seen them take it over just about in Army's red zone. Now third and 16. Santiago drops back. He has a man there. Naples and Terrell Terry couldn't bring him down, but luckily Ahmad Plummer's there to save it as he's just two yards short there, bringing up a fourth down on this Army opening drive to open the half. Army on for the punt. This kickoff. Juice Campbell will have some space here, fielding at his own 25. He'll work his way outside. He gets to the 40 yard line as he's hit hard there. Now, Haywood and the Golden Eagles look to come back from a poor. Missed opportunity, opportunity there at the end of the second quarter. As Theo Briggs will open us up here in the second half with a three-yard gain. You see at the bottom there, 45 nothing there. Number 10, Oklahoma shuts out. Number 24, TCU. Haywood under center for this one. He'll drop back. He's going to go for a man deep there. It's Michael Galloway, and it's just over the head of Galloway. That looked like it was going to be a nice... Drop, of, drop in the bucket there from Haywood, but Galloway could just not catch up to it. Now another third down here from Marquette. 0 for 4 on third downs in this one so far. Haywood in the empty formation. He'll roll to his right. Nothing open downfield, and he's sacked. Tremendous coverage there from Army. And Haywood just had nothing open. Nice block there from the right tackle, Montez Chamberlain. And I think that might be his first pancake of the season. Pancakes. Matt Bars for another punt. That won't even reach the Army 20 as Laird with a nice return with some space. And he's brought there down there by Reese Waters. So it's been the theme for this Marquette offense to start this season. We've been able to put together pretty efficient drives here at times, but we just can't capitalize with points. Whether it be a turnover in the red zone, poor management, or a lack of trust in our field goal kicker. As Santiago will break a tackle there and work his way ahead for a first down off an 11-yard gain. He's now over 100 yards in this one. Army resets here with 4.30 left in the third quarter. Santiago keeps. Pitches back to Torrentine. And he's brought out there at the sideline by Plummer. Now a second and two inside Marquette territory. Naples in motion. Santiago keeps. And he's brought down there by Randall Gunn. Nice tackle for loss there by Gunn as Santiago had a man on a pitch, but Gunn closed it just in time. Now a third down here for Army. And it looks like someone moved up front, and that's going to bring him back five. Now from the 50, smack dab at midfield is Army 0 for 5 on third downs in this one. Both teams really struggling on third down. Naples in motion. Santiago drops back. He has a man over the middle that's layered, but he's brought down by D'Angelo Bush, short of the first down marker. Now at the 44, fourth and two, I thought Army might go for it there, but it looks like they're going to kick again. As both offenses struggling, so you might as well. Throw some more faith in your defense. 
as Campbell will let that one bounce into the end zone for another touchback. Marquette now taking over from their own 20, still without points here in this one. And they go with a loaded backfield. Javon Ashley will get the give. He had some space outside, ran into his tackle, which kind of slowed up his steam, but he still picks up 10. His most productive carry so far in the game. Looks like Marquette might try to rely on the run a little bit more here in the second half as Army goes with a loaded line. As Marquette here in a kind of a goal line formation. And Theo Briggs will get the handoff and he'll get ahead for the first down. And that's all they really wanted there if you're Marquette. Now they get a fresh set of downs to work with from the 31 yard line. Holt Zellernitis on the stop for Army. Marquette now goes empty. Haywood drops back. Hits his man Grant Cooper for a modest five yard pickup. Now second and five from the 37. Marquette trying to put together a productive drive here. Another give for Theo Briggs. He'll work his way ahead for a first down. His second first down picked up on this drive. Ashley, Clay, and Briggs all back out there in the backfield. And Ashley will get another carry. Good blocking there from Colton Clay, the fullback, as Ashley fighting ahead only manages to pick up two. But a great lead block there from the senior fullback, Colton Clay. And Marquette, they continue this balanced approach with 18 runs, 19 passes in this one. Haywood now empty. He drops back. Has a man over the field, but just misses him, as that was Jonathan Thomas with some space, but Haywood just missed the mark. Now a third and eight as Marquette's still looking for their first conversion here on third down. They'll go empty again. Haywood drops back to pass. He has Jonathan Thomas and he just hits in there. 14 yard pickup. Another clutch first down for Jonathan Thomas here on this season. As it looked like he was a little bit shaken up after the play. Now Marquette, their 12 first downs in this one, but that was their first one coming off a of third down as they'll go Again, with this loaded backfield. Another give for Ashley. And Clay couldn't hold the block there with the Army linebacker breaking downhill. And that's Dalton Mendenhall with a tackle for loss. So one of the few plays here where Marquette went backwards. As they'll go back out there in an empty set here on 2nd and 13. As we hit 1 minute remaining in this 3rd quarter. Haywood back to pass. He's going to go for Javon Ashley there towards the sideline. And Ashley had some space. He picks up 5. Now at the 39 and definitely not in Dylan Mackey's field goal range on this third and eight as Marquette goes empty yet again. And that's picked off for Bacon. I'm not really sure exactly who Haywood was trying to hit there as that was way off kilter there from Jake Haywood. And Jeff Jeffrey Bacon continues this dominant performance here. That's a very timely interception there for Army and the Black Knights as they'll look to make this a two-possession game. That was a rough pass there from Jake Haywood, and I wish we got another look at it, but one of his only mistakes here in this game is he's been very clean. Now Santiago will keep, and he has some space up uphill, and he's going to break free, and this he's probably going to go all the way. Travelis Terry giving chase, and he's not going to catch him. A 69-yard touchdown run for Angel Santiago. And Army will take a 14-0 lead pending the extra point. And it just goes to show the matter of two plays can just swing the, swing the tide tremendously. As it looked like Marquette had a game-tying drive on the horizon. Jake Haywood throws an interception. And then just a play or two later on Hell Santiago takes it 61 yards the other way. And now Marquette's deficit doubled here as Durant will take it from their two yard line, working his way up upfield. And a 26 yard return there from Durant. Now just 11 seconds here in this third quarter, Marquette takes over from the 28, and you'll, you'll, have to, you'll like to see how uh, Jake Haywood can respond off of that one as he'll drop back here for a first down pass. And he has nothing open, so he'll keep it. One of the few times we've seen him take it on a scramble, he takes it for seven yards. As this third, this third quarter comes to an end, a tough break there from Marquette as they fall behind 14-0. Now a second and three here from Marquette to start this fourth quarter. Javon Ashley in the I formation, led there by Colton Clay, as he'll get the give. He'll work his way outside 
And Javon Ashley picks up a first down off a six-yard carry. Ashley only 26 yards on 10 carries here in this one. Now the Golden Eagles go empty here with a five wide receiver set. Haywood takes the snap, works his way outside on the scramble. Nothing upfield, and he'll take it again with his legs. And he'll pick up four, bringing up a second and six for Marquette. Now second and six, Marquette back in the eye formation. And they'll give here to Theo Briggs, and he's swallowed up there, but a face mask by the Army defender is going to give Marquette 15 yards here. They've been the beneficiary of penalties so far in this season. And that's a face mask on Holt Zollner Zollneritis. And Marquette will now take it at Army's 42-yard line. Now first and 10 here, Marquette working in Army territory. Looks like they're going to call an audible here. Look at that box from Army. Marquette's still going to give a get give to Briggs who works his way ahead for six yards. He found a nice hole there as Army, a bunch of guys up there on the line of scrimmage. And now just six minutes left in this game. So if you're Marquette, you don't have to hurry too much, but you don't have all the time to work with here. Back in the eye formation with Briggs in the backfield. Haywood drops back to fast. He'll dump that one off for Briggs and Briggs drops it working upfield. He tried to run without it. And he left the ball in his tracks. Now a third down here for Marquette. One and seven on third down for the Golden Eagles. A third and from here, third and four here from the Army 26. Correction, Army 36. As Haywood drops back. Hits Lamont Collier. And they're going to say he didn't cross the first down marker as he worked back to the ball. And that's a fourth and inches now for Marquette. And of course, you got to go for this one if you're the Golden Eagles. At really just an inch here as Briggs, Clay, and Ashley in the backfield for Marquette. And they'll give it there to Colton Clay. And he's going to just barely get the first down here for Marquette. The senior fullback just gets the job done. And now Marquette has a fresh set of downs. Now 5-10 left here with Clay and Tyson Bolt in the backfield. Marquette can pass. Haywood will roll to his right. There's Michael Galloway. And Galloway works his way to the 6-yard line off the 26-yard catch. Marquette now at Army 6, and they'll go hurry up here. Jake Haywood now over 200 yards as we are about to hit 5 minutes here in this 4th quarter. And it looks like some miscommunication there. As Haywood kept it, but it looked like... Bolt was supposed to take it as that's going to be a crucial loss there for Marquette off a of mis miscommunication there. Now just 440 left in this game, a second and goal from the nine yard line. And they're going to give Haywood another pass here. He has Pinson there against the sideline and Pinson is forced out off a minimal two yard catch. Now a third and goal here from the seven for Marquette and you got to get a touchdown. Time winding down here. Haywood drops back to pass. And he had Ashley out there in the flat, but he couldn't get it off as he was hit on his throw. And now you need a clutch fourth down conversion here for Marquette. And they're going to call a timeout. I don't think they picked the right play there. So off a of timeout, let's see what the Golden Eagles have in store for us here. 4-16 left in the fourth quarter. Haywood will drop back to pass. He rolls. And he hits Grant Cooper in the end zone for a seven-yard touchdown. Grant Cooper just leaked away from traffic there. And he comes away with a nice touchdown grab. Good anticipation throw there from Jake Haywood to hit Grant Cooper towards the back of the end zone. Now Dylan Mackey on for the extra point. And that's right down the middle. A 13-play, 70-yard drive there from the Golden Eagles. A nice resilience there as they claw their way back in this one. This is going to be fielded from Marquette's three-yard line. Carnegie again with it. And he tramples over Nichols there, but a good uh, secondary tackle there from Marquette as they halt him at the 23-yard line. And if you're Marquette, you'll certainly take that based on the starting field position we've 
allowed to our opponents here so far in this season. So let's see if the defense can force a stop, can uh, force a stop here, and get the ball back for Jake Haywood and Marquette. Santiago keeps, and he'll pick up four yards there off a nice stop from D'Angelo Bush, working downhill. And Army stays in a uh, stays in the hurry up here. Less than four minutes in the game, they're still trying to put together a scoring drive to ice this one. As Dixon out up the middle, and he has some space. And Clarence Thurman just with the shoestring tackle there as Nixon was, uh, he had some room in front as he approaches midfield here. Army back with it now. Turn time in motion. Santiago keeps. And he'll pick up six yards up the, up the middle. Santiago having a great day, 171 yards. Now we hit 330 left in this third or fourth quarter, second and four here for Army. And Santiago keeps and he's stopped there in the backfield by Dickenzie Durant. Good play there from the Marquette corner. And that's going to force a third down here for Army. And Army 0 for 6 have yet to convert on a third down. Just over third, three minutes left in this fourth quarter now. Now we hit 250 in this fourth quarter. Army letting the time run out. Santiago drops back. Right, that's a fake. Delay give to Naples. And he'll be stopped short off a three-yard carry. A nice play call there from Army. But the Marquette defense was up to it as they force a punt here late in this fourth quarter so now jake haywood takes over for marquette at his own 20 with exactly two minutes on the clock and two timeouts here for marquette he'll drop back here on first and ten and it's intercepted by trimble what a bad decision there from jake haywood i'm not quite sure what he was doing there he was going i think a little miscommunication there and it looked like he was maybe going for grant cooper there but a very bad throw there from Haywood, and he couldn't deliver last week on a potential game-tying drive, and then this week he falls to a tough interception there as Army will now take over at Marquette's 29, and they're going to have to get another quick stop here. Santiago gives to Naples, and he works his way into the second level for a 14-yard rush. So Jake Haywood just couldn't get it done here in this one. And that was a rough couple interceptions here. He played a clean game overall, but two late turnovers that fumble early on really proved to be Marquette's demise here. As Santiago gives the turn time, and he's stopped there, and Marquette will call a timeout. I was thinking about throwing Dylan Koufax back out there, but given that Haywood was able to th um it really was that scoring drive which was the difference where Hayward was, was able to get a passing touchdown. If he didn't have a result there, I was going to throw Koufax in. And now Naples works his way outside. He's picked up there by Tyler Black. Now just a minute 16 as Marquette burns their last time out here. So I was thinking about throwing Koufax out there. And he might get to start next week. I'm not sure. I don't like rotating quarterbacks like that. But here in year one, I figured both guys would get an equal shot as... Marquette suffers a face mask penalty there. So now Army will have a fresh head of downs. And that's really going to do this one. That face mask by Denzel Highsmith gives Army a fresh head of downs. And a couple kneel downs here and we'll be out of here. A tough result here against a very good Army team. I'm kind of surprised we were able to hang, hang in here as long as we did. And Santiago there on the knee. I was kind of surprised we were able to hang around as long as we did. A bunch of missed opportunities there on offense, obviously, which really, really hurt us. As our defense held strong, only giving up 14 points against this triple option attack for Army. But these kind of games are like really what Army's offense is designed for. They'll give a give there to turn time. These are the kind of games Army's team is designed to win. And they will come out ahead in this one, winning 14-7. And they're going to improve to 5-0 and here. So a great start to the season for Army. As that will do it here. We'll hit 0 on the time clock. And Marquette will fall to 2-3 and three on this season. A much more manageable week next week. As I believe we face New Mexico State. And I think we're going to give split duties to Haywood and Dylan Koufax in that one regardless. Justin Trimble, the player of the game. 6 tackles, 2 tackle for loss and an interception. But we're going to lose here in front of the home fans. 
and a rough game here from the Marquette Golden Eagles, but this is what about year one is all about. Progression, learning, you know, we have a rookie head coach, um, one of the least talented rosters in all of college football, so I'm not too too mad about losing by seven to a good Army team, so it's all about progression, as I'm saying, and growth, and from here on out, we're just going to get better and learn from our mistakes, so that's all I have to say here from the BMO Bradley Center. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching as Marquette falls to the Army Black Knights 14-7. So following that tough loss to Army, we'll get a little recruiting update here. And we see we actually now lead Eric Smiley just barely over Illinois as it's really just a two-horse race there for the 23rd ranked quarterback here in this class. He still has yet to visit Illinois, so once he does, that'll probably give them a nice little swing. But for now, we are in on Eric Smiley, and we do lead the way. Sean Murphy, our top, he's probably the top prospect on our whole board, and we lead Army by a good margin despite that loss here in this last game. So Murphy's the guy we expect to commit in the coming years, and he might be a four-year starter here for us. He might start as a, a tackle right in his freshman year. Dan Johnson is a Juco tackle. We're currently in on him. We're actually going to go ahead and offer him a scholarship. We have him 80% scouted here at 65 overall. Thomas Jacques is a guy we touched on a couple episodes ago. We're actually making up some ground here against the Spartans, although like Eric Smiley in Illinois, Jacques still has not yet visited Michigan State, which he will here in the coming weeks. We're still leading the way here for Jerry Jones and Mike Johnson, two very Talented defensive end prospects. Jones is 65th defensive end. Johnson, 124th. Although Johnson, he saw um, a four a four overall bump up. He went up to a 67 after we scouted him. Daniel Armstrong, another Juco guy we're pursuing. We have a big lead on him over Air Force. He's probably going to commit here in a couple weeks. Kenny Johnson, our top DB that we're pursuing. And uh, we have a good lead against Illinois. Ryan Jackson, we, we're making up some ground here on the Madison, Wisconsin product. We're only 600 out now against Illinois, although we were only able to get 150 points on Jackson's visit, and he's uh, going to visit Iowa here in the coming weeks, so they might see a big swing for him. But now we actually did get our first recruit commit, which I'll show you here. 86 tight end on the board, Juco Scott Dixon, 6'4", 258 out of Illinois. And tight end is by far our weakest position here, as uh, Grant Cooper has kind of been coming along, but we have no depth at all. So Dixon, coming in as a Juco, he's probably going to start right away alongside Cooper, and we'll try to get some more two tight end sets going next season. A blocking tight end with very good blocking ratings at 72 pass block, 73 run block, 74 impact block, 75 speed and 75 strength with decent catching numbers. So... Scott Dixon, our first commit here in this series, and he's someone I expect to have an impact next season. Now I'll give you a quick preview here at our next week's game as we're set to visit New Mexico State. You see at the, at, there at the bottom left, Kirk Herbstreet is taking the Aggies in this one, but I think this is one we could win as you see our overall offense and defense are all equal at D, D plus D, respectively. Looking at the stats, I, I'm pretty happy with our minus two turnover differential. Uh, last week minus three in that category with those two interceptions and that fumble from Jake Haywood. So New Mexico State and us pretty even. And we'll just take a look. As you see, under key injuries, they're without their starting left tackle, quarterback, and running back. So an even team without three key players. So we surely will look to take advantage of that as New Mexico State lost to number six Texas in the opening week and then rebounded with an overtime win against Big Ten Minnesota although the Golden Gophers are 1-5 on the season. They would go on to beat a 4-1 UTEP, giving them their only loss so far in the season, before losses to number 5 UCLA and San Diego State, but they did win this past week against New Mexico. Now we'll take a look at our upcoming schedule to finish this season. We're at New Mexico State this week, then we host Toledo, we have a bye week, and then we head to South Bend to take on the current number 8 Notre Dame Fighting Irish. So that'll by far be the toughest test here on the season. We'll then go to Brigham Young for a tough road game against the Cougars, followed by home games against Old Dominion, East Carolina, and then we'll finish the season with a road game down there in Hawaii. 
And then just to wrap up this episode, I'll go to the coach skill tree. And um, so you see, we have game management and recruiting. I alternate. So like I could just go and load recruiting all here, but that'll kind of make it a little easier. So game management and recruiting, I all I uh, go back and forth with, and we'll just go to ice the kicker here with antifreeze. And now we're at a level four from Lance Leipold. So this is where I'm going to leave you folks. I really appreciate you sticking around for this episode. It was a tough, tough result there against Army. But remember, they are a very good team. And uh, we're still building here in year one. So I invite you to stick around as next week we take on the New Mexico State Aggies. So as always, everybody, it's been real and be well. I'll see you next time. And thank you so much. Thanks.